Hey guys, it's Angela here with a quick tutorial on my digital studio creating a Facebook header. So all I did here was go into um, File, New Project. I chose Custom, 12 by 12 square, Create Project. I gave it a name and hit OK. So I've already done that. Now on this blank 12 by 12 page, I created my header and my profile picture. I put my header up in this area and I created my picture down in this area and I wanted it to be square so it would fit into my profile picture nicely. So after I created this, and this was just inserting stamps and embellishments and all that other fun stuff that I've showed you in other tutorials, then what I did was I exported it. And over here on the right, and yeah, over here on the right, sorry, there's a share button. This looks the same on a Mac or a PC. You're going to click Export Pages. You can change the location of where you want it to go, and then you're going to hit Finish. That's only if you want to change, um, sorry, I'm a little bit over the all over the place right here. You can change the location if you want, but you don't have to. Just make note of where you're actually putting it. I'm putting mine on desktop. So then I click Finish. And now it's exporting it to my um, desktop so I can find it. Okay. Now, the second thing you're going to need is either iPhoto, if you're on a Mac, or Picasa. You can use that on Mac and PC. And it's free. This is a great great piece of um, software. It's a great tool for cropping and editing your pictures. So you're going to go over here in Picasa to import. You're going to choose where to find your picture. Mine was in desktop, so I'm just going to click over here. This is the picture that I want. Okay, now I want to import that. And I'm just going to say, put whatever name on it you want. Import selected. Fantastic. So you can see here's my picture. I'm going to double click on that. And I'm going to crop it. Here's the crop tool. So I'm going to click it. And then I'm just going to click down and drag. Then I hit apply. And there's my Facebook header. So easy. So then what I also did was I cropped out my picture. So I'm going to use that for my profile picture. Once you get those done and you save them, you can go to your Facebook page. Let's see. Whoops. Wrong one. Here's my Facebook page. Let me close this out. Okay. Here's my Facebook page. Here's the cover. And here's my profile picture. And all I did was edit, upload photo. And it's going to put your picture right in there. So that's it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial today. If you have any questions, please give me a shout out on my blog or email at AngelasInkLink.com. Have a great day.